All right, guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, I mean, over-the-top beautiful <coughs> sunset over the end times. Rolling in here. It is Wednesday. What would this be? November 23rd, 2021. Here in the Point Lonesome Swamp, in the Oasis of Freedom. So, of course, it is the eve of Thanksgiving. And I am sitting here alone in the end of a rutted out dirt road in the Point Lonesome Swamp. I'm taking my yearly tally of things to be thankful for, things to be grateful for. Uh, as I sit here for the second uh, Thanksgiving Eve, <clears throat> I don't know how far away my brother lives, who I have not, I have not seen my brother in, what, two years since I laid on, eyes on my brother. I think he lives, I don't know, three or four hours from here. He knows goddamn well I'm in the state of Florida, in the Oasis of Freedom. He knows goddamn well I'm here. He might even be listening to this video. And if you are, brother, I guess I, happy Thanksgiving, so. For the second year in a row, I will not be having Thanksgiving dinner with my own brother, who I have not seen in two years. I certainly will not be having Christmas <clears throat> dinner with him or spending New Year's Eve or anything because I'm just assuming <clears throat> I will not lay eyes on my brother again this year. As I spend the next five to six months, you know, basically right down the street from him. You know, and that's his business. What, you know, I am 100% sure my brother and his wife are fully vaccinated and all that. But he is an intelligent man. He has a master's degree in journalism. Uh, so, uh, you, you know, he has looked at the same evidence available to him as available to me and decided you know it is not the wor it is not worth the risk of having his own brother show up for Thanksgiving dinner at his house because you know I am crawling with some virus so uh, I'm gonna sit here with my little dog and shed my virus on my little dog, I guess. I'm just wondering, I, I mean, I'm wondering how many millions of families right now are being destroyed over this. Over this panic, over this absolute panic that the fear that they will be infected with uh, some virus that is killed, what is it, 0.002% of the planet, that that fear outweighs, you know, the desire to have your own family members. I'm going to make a prediction now that I will never lay eyes on my brother again until the day that one of us dies 
Well, he is 17 years older than me, so <clears throat> I'm going to make a prediction for you, brother. Um, I will never lay eyes on you again. You are never going to allow me to be in your company because you're so terrified that I am going to give you this uh, virus that you've been vaccinated against. Uh, I will never see you alive again. That you, it's just that this is it for the rest of our lives. Uh, it, we will never lay eyes on each other again until you die of some other. You are not going to die of corona panic, neither am I. Uh, and I am simply written out of your life until the day one of us dies. Probably you, but neither one of us are going to die of corona panic. But you have made your decision. You are a grown adult. And, and I just wonder how many more people, how many probably millions of people are in my uh, in my uh, shoes tonight uh, here on Thanksgiving and Christmas, New Year's, the whole bit that, you know, families have been destroyed over this. Friendships have been destroyed. You know, whatever your view on uh, the whole thing, it, it, you know, it doesn't change this fact. Um, I honestly don't know if I would be invited to show up there for Thanksgiving if I was vaccinated. But anyway. So, uh, family, that is certainly nothing to be grateful about. <clears throat> this year, as I count my blessings, <clears throat> Thanksgiving and, uh, <clears throat> So where, of course, I am sitting, I am not sitting on my own property. I am sitting on Lulu's deck. I am outside of Lulu's house. And I, uh, I am very grateful that Lulu built this beautiful dock a few years ago. If Lulu had not built this dock, I would not be sitting on this dock. So I am grateful for Lulu for building this dock. And I aim to enjoy this dock a lot over the next few months. <coughs> so anyway, uh, I wish this were a joke, what I'm, what I'm getting ready to say. I wish this were a joke. I wish this were... You know, one of my sick, twisted, black humor, inappropriate jokes. Counting my blessings in the year 2021, the number one thing I am thankful for, I mean, hands down, is the fact that this nasty psycho bitch who built this beautiful dock blew her brains out. Uh... The number one joy I experienced the entire year was hearing the news that my arch nemesis, Lulu, had uh, stuck a gun in her mouth and <coughs> pulled the trigger and blew her brains out weeks before I was headed down here. Uh, That is the number one thing I am thankful about in, in the year 2021. It was the suicide of Lulu. Uh, and it, 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 as much as 
I, I'm conflicted on this. Uh, I also realize the thing I am second happiest about uh, in the year of 2021 is that Dulcinea basically had a psychotic schizophrenic breakdown and went completely fucking whack job mentally ill. So, the number one blessing bringing me gratitude is that the woman I hated more than any human being I have ever ever hated of any human being I've ever met. She was the single nastiest human being I have ever encountered since the day I was born. Um, and Lulu blowing her brains out was an absolute blessing in my life. Uh, in, in one shot, literally, uh, she changed the course of my entire winter. And so I have her on one hand, the, you know, the psycho bitch that I hate blowing her brains out. And on the other hand, having the, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to use the word psycho bitch to, uh, define, uh, to define Dulcinea, but just psycho. Uh, you know, the woman I love going completely schizoid, uh, over the last few months and, uh, refusing to join me to be my doomer chick forever uh, my head understands uh, that that was next to Lulu blowing her fucking brains out of her head that Dulcinea's descent into madness and uh, decision to not join me down here in the Point Lonesome Swamp was the second biggest blessing of the year. The, the very thought of uh, Dulcinea <laughs> being down here with me right now uh, it would have been hmm. now having Dulcinea down here with me would not have been quite the level of you know insufferable hell that I would be experiencing right now if Lulu had not killed herself but it would have been pretty close. It would have been an absolute unqualified disaster. My guess is we would already be ready to kill each other after nine days of uh, living uh, in the in the point lonesome swamp uh, the very thought of Dulcinea being down here with me uh, it, it would have been it, it, it would have been a, a just a, it would have been the single biggest preventable fuck up of my entire life I fully understand this. And so, as much as my heart still pines for Dulcinea, uh, I understand 
that uh, I dodged a bullet with that one. And uh, as much as it sucks to be sitting here alone in the point lonesome swamp at the end of this rutted out dirt road, I, I fully understand that uh, it, if, if I were here with either Lulu or Dulcinea, my life would be fucked right now. My life would be fucked. Either one of them. All I have to deal with are these motherfucking airboats destroying another sunset. Oh God, it's be Thanksgiving weekend and the airboats coming along. And that's really a sad commentary, guys. I fully understand how, again, all joking aside, it, it, it is truly a sad commentary both on my pointless, worthless, basically miserable life and just a, a comment on... Uh, <laughs> Just on the whole state of the world, that looking back over the last 365 days a year, that the two bl biggest blessings of my life is one woman killing herself and one woman uh, going psycho. Uh, that these two tragedies in these two women's lives uh, have been the two single biggest blessings since last Thanksgiving. I mean, it's really sad. And of course, we got this little blessing right here. Here's my little blessing. Mr. Sancho Panza. I still have my little dog and I have beautiful sunsets in this I guess that's that Venus Venus has been absolutely glorious the full moon has been gorgeous and uh, the airboats have not been too bad Although, with this beautiful Thanksgiving weekend coming up, uh, I can expect to hear some airboats. But anyway, I won't quite add the psycho bitch number three that went south on me as one of the blessings, the uh, psycho bitch that I had. Last year for Thanksgiving, I met up with my friend here in uh, Florida for Thanksgiving, you know, the one who, who went completely fucking sideways psycho on me uh, <laughs> out of the blue last year. Uh, probably a blessing that that psycho bitch is out of my, out of my fucking life. Uh, you know, just, just staying out of the line of fire of psycho bitches. Uh, good fucking God. And so what am I getting ready to do? I need to wrap this up because I'm supposed to go uh, call this new woman I have met on Pile of Fish. So we can set up our first date in the Oasis of Freedom with all of these blessings about getting psycho bitches out of my life. <sighs> what am I doing? Going back to Pile of Fish. Because I'm still clinging to this, to this truly tragic 
hopium that uh, I am still going to find a woman that is going to uh, appreciate what I and the little dog have to offer somewhere on this planet. Uh, this is the most tragic thing of all is I continue to insist that somewhere on this planet there is a woman who understands that being my doomer chick forever would be the greatest thing ever to happen in her life. She is out there. Uh, the chance that I'm going to find her uh, maybe I'll meet up with the meter maid next summer anyway get out there and count your blessings and uh, seriously if you uh, are still haven't been 86 by your own family if you are not a pariah in your own family get out there and enjoy thanksgiving dinner uh, i'm gonna be having thanksgiving dinner with a couple a couple of trump tards they took pity on me my neighbors took pity on me so i am that's where i will be is breaking bread with trump tards that's what my life has been reduced to Get out there and count your blessings while you still can. I don't know where the sandhill cranes are tonight. I figured we would be visited by some sandhill cranes. They just, I don't know, maybe the sandhill cranes are being uh, stuffed and Maybe the rednecks around here are serving up Sandhill Crane for Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. <clears throat> Where are the cranes tonight, little dog? Bye, guys.